Hey there, so today I'll be taking you guys through um, some of the extensions I use in VS Code for Flutter development. So the first extension in this list is the Code Spell Checker extension. And what this extension does, it checks for grammatical mistakes in your code base. Right? So if you look at the example over here, um, if we type something and then we make a mistake, it's going to underline that and then it's going to suggest a fix for it. Right, so that's all that the code spell checker extension does and i really find it useful because sometimes i make grammar errors in my code whether strings or variable names and it has really been helpful um, helping me identify those mistakes so the next extension on this list is the codium ai coding autocomplete extension so i don't have access to github copilot so this is what i've been using um throughout my project uh, everything that I do that involves coding, but there is the extension that I use for autocomplete. Right. Now, we have the that data class generator extension. And if you've seen me generating um, classes to map from map constructors in any of my videos, then obviously I was using the that data class generator. So an example is, let's assume I have this class over here and I want to generate the constructor for the class. So I'm going to comment out this constructor and now, if I want to generate this construct, all I have to do is to tap on this uh, yellow light bulb, which is a quick fix. And it's going to give me the option to generate the constructor, data class, JSON, serialization, whatsoever you want to generate. This that data class generator extension can help you with it. So if I'm going to generate the data class, and realize that I generate the copyright to map from map, JSON and code and everything else. Right. So it's very useful if you are working with classes a lot now I also have that import right and what this extension does is it changes your package import to relative import so let's assume uh, this product import was a package import like this right what this extension will do is it's going to convert it from uh, package import to relative import like what we have over here right if you are someone who likes the relative import now the next extension after this is the get length extension right i'm not going to talk much about this extension but if you are someone who uses um get in vs code then i really recommend this extension it's something that you must have because it helps you a lot right so if you scroll down here you could see all the features it has you could see all the features it has here which i'm not going to go through but it's a must have extension if you are using vs code with get right and we have material icon team over here as well and this is the icon team i've been using in vs code so if you check how my folders and icons look this um colors and icons are coming from the material icon team extension so if you want to have a beautiful icons like this then i recommend you install the material icon team extension right now next is one dark pro so one dark pro is the team i use on almost every editor I use, right? So if I use WebStorm, Android Studio, Goland, or any other editor, I use one Dark Pro, right? So that's the team I use. And to be more specific, I use the Docker variant of the one Dark Pro extension. So we have one Dark Pro itself, one Dark Pro Docker, we have flat and then mix. And I use the Docker version of it, right? And the last extension in this list is the project manager extension. So let's assume you've been working on multiple projects at the same time. And it's really difficult always opening that directory in VS Code or dragging the folder in. You wish you had a place you can add them to favorites and then that is going to be all. Then the project manager extension is what you need. So that helps you to switch easily between projects, right? So for instance, I have two projects over here. And for me to open this project, I don't really have to go to a directory where this project is located i could just tap on this and to open it in a new window or i can tap on it directly to open it in the current window right so i just tap on it and then it opens this project in a new window right so that's the project manager extension these are my favorite extensions in vs code and these are the extensions i use every day in vs code so if you like this video please hit the like button um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and I'll leave the name of these extensions in the description so I can check them out later. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.